It's far too late at night for me to be making this video, and yet here we are. So I'm going to do my best to answer this question. Sometimes the best approach on a bridge is to, by process of elimination, think, what have I not done yet? So you look at your verse, you look at your pre-chorus and your chorus, and you think, which scale degree have I started on? Which beat have I started on? Which chord have I started on? And don't copy any of them. Find a new chord, new note, new beat to start on. Or two out of three. And or, you know, contour, ascending, descending, static, arc, inverted arc, like your line contours, your melodic contours. Go against the flow of whatever else you've been doing. Or busy versus spaced out, um, sparse versus dense, you know. Uh, lots of ways to contrast. That's one way depending on the kind of song that you're writing. If it is a story song or a song where the lyric develops as you go, where verse two really does need to take the, the lyric further than where verse one was, then the bridge may be a point to reveal some new twist that makes the chorus have fresh context when you hear it again, or some new little relevant piece of information. The bridge can be looking to the future. The bridge could be the moral of the story. Um, if it is just a vibe song, the bridge can be nothing more than just some non-lyrical vocal hook or a repetition of the song title. I've done that before on a type timeline where we just start singing the song title and then we stack a harmony on top of it and then we stack a third harmony on top of it and then we're back into the chorus again. That's a really quick, easy cheat. And another one that I've talked about before, isn't this fun, red lips? Another one that I've talked about before is you can take a different song section and reharmonize it as your bridge. Rolling in the Deep, Adele. The chords are either six, five, four, or four, five, six on the chorus. I don't remember which one's which. Later on in the song, she does the chorus, but instead of going six, five, four, she does it four, five, six, or vice versa. Feels like the bridge. All she did was change two chords around. It felt fresh. It was a chorus reharmonized. That becomes a bridge. Uh, there's a, a One Direction song where they reharmonize their pre chorus, and that is the bridge. Um, so that is another super quick way to do it is reharmonize a different song section and make that your bridge. It's basically providing contrast. That's all it really functions at. Well, no, it's it's providing contrast, but it, it can do more than that. Sorry, it's late. I should be in bed.